Channel 4 Studios in Boston. This is WBZ News at 10. Three top stories happening right now at 10. A youth hockey coach in Drake is accused of sexually assaulting one of his players. Alan Pereira is due in court tomorrow. Police are asking any other alleged victims to come forward. There are new details on the crash that killed Kobe Bryant. The helicopter did not have a black box. So investigators are relying on radio transmissions, weather reports, and clues in the debris field. The NTSB is also asking the public for any video or photos from the scene in the moments before. For Sunday's crash. Also tonight, two people are being tested for the coronavirus in New Hampshire. We're told the patients developed a respiratory illness after traveling to Wuhan, China, which is the city at the center of the deadly illness. And new tonight, the death toll and outbreak numbers continue to grow. Much more on those stories in a bit, but first we begin with a first look at your forecast. We take a live look over the beautiful city of Boston. Yeah, and not too cold tonight. Not bad at all. And nice to have you here at 10 o'clock, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Welcome. With Eric Fisher and another quiet week, Eric. You know, the weather has not been uh, very eventful over the course of this January, and tonight's another night where the heaters really aren't working overtime out there. Pretty much everybody above freezing. We should be below freezing during the day, let alone at night. That certainly hasn't been the case recently. Some partial clearing overnight tonight, so we're seeing some starlight mixing in with the clouds. And tomorrow, our best chance of sunshine is going to be during the morning. As we head toward lunchtime the afternoon, a lot of clouds filling in across the area, so it's a little bit of a nondescript weather day. Not a whole lot of wind and our high temperatures within a couple degrees of 40 across most of the area. We'll see a little bit of a cooling trend here for Wednesday and Thursday. Definitely some winter temperatures. Some colder nights and days that will largely be spent in the 30s. And then Friday brings another bump into the 40s for the final day of January. So the question is, what does February bring? Well, it might start with a storm. We'll take a look at the potential there coming up in a few minutes. Guys, back to you. All right, Eric, thank you. Tonight, lights for a legend. A live picture right now from the Empire State Building lit up in Laker purple and gold in honor, of course, of Kobe Bryant, the Lakers star. And his teenage daughter are among nine people killed in a helicopter crash in California. And radio transmissions reveal the minutes of that flight. Ken McLeod is here tracking that investigation. Ken? Liam and David, it was an experienced pilot flying a helicopter with an excellent safety record. But the 40-minute flight still ended in tragedy, killing a basketball legend, three teenagers, and a baseball coach with ties to Cape Cod. The NTSB says it will spend five days gathering evidence at the crash site and believes it will pinpoint what went wrong. 